Hey, what's up guys? It's Caleb with App Design Tips and I want to show you how to prototype your Adobe XD designs using ProtoPie. Now I know Adobe XD has some prototyping tools and they have some basic animations, but ProtoPie is a tool you can use to take your Adobe XD designs and take the animation and the interactions to a whole other level with finite control and detail over your prototypes. So I want to show you a new feature that allows you to import your Adobe XD projects into ProtoPie. So this works on Windows and Mac. So we have our Adobe XD project here. We have three slides for an onboarding process. And we just want to make an interaction that allows us to slide back and forth between these. So all we need to do is open up ProtoPie here. And instead of starting off with a template, let's just click File, New. And this will start us off with a new device size of iPhone 8, 375. And that's great because that's the size that we designed our assets. So now all we have to do is click on File, Import, Adobe XD CC. And this will find the currently opened Adobe XD file. So make sure your file's open. And we can go between these artboards here and import whatever one we want. So I'm going to import slide 1 at 2x. And I'm going to import all the layers on this artboard. Now we don't have to worry about these re-import options because we're not re-importing anything yet, but I'll show you this later. Now let's click import and that's it. We just have this imported and now all we have to do at this point is we can group all these assets. We'll group this for container one and then we want to do this two more times for our other slides. So let's go to slide two. Let's select all these and group it and then We'll go in once more and import slide three, group all of these, and now we have our three containers. So let's give us a little bit more room here. And now for container two, we want container two to be over here to the right. So I'm going to add 375 pixels here, and it's going to move this over. Since this artboard is 375 pixels, it's going to move it over next to it. And then this one, we want this to be 375 pixels times 2, which is 750, and those are going to be side by side, and now we'll be able to page through them. Nothing is working here yet, but we can go over here to container, we can add a paging container, and let's just call this paging, and we can click on these other containers and drag these inside of the paging container, and that's going to give us this little rectangle right here that we can drag to make the size of our artboard. And now with just that, we can start sliding things over and seeing how this looks. So importing is great, but re-importing is going to save you a lot of time. For example, if you forget that you added text here on this slide, but you didn't add it here or here, instead of going in and having to redo everything and add the animations, we can jump back into Adobe XD. Let's just copy these here. So we can copy it to slide one and slide two. And we can also change some text here. So this is secure and some gift ideas. So we just made a few changes here and without saving, we can jump back into ProtoPie and we have container one right here. All we have to do is hit file, import, and we can import Adobe XD CC and slide one. Now we have to think about the re-import options. So do we want to overwrite positions? We didn't change any positions, so it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to leave that unchecked. And I'm not going to overwrite the size of layers. Now if there's some layering changes and you want to update that, you can do that here. Or if you deleted any layers in Adobe XD on the artboard, and when you're re-importing, you want that to be deleted in ProtoPie, you can do that here too. But let's just click Import here. And you can see automatically this text changes, says these are some gift ideas. I'm going to just zoom this in a little bit more so you can see. And this lorem ipsum here changed, so it's looking good. But when we try to interact with this, you see how the text is sticky? That's because it's not sitting in that container that allows it to page. So all we have to do is click and drag this inside of container one. And that's working perfect now. Now we have container two. We want to do the same thing. So import Adobe XD CC, slide two, import. And we can see here the same thing. We can drag this into container two, but still if we do that, we're not going to see it here. And that's because it's in the container two, but it's still positioned where it's showing in container one. So this is actually overlaying on top of it. And I'll show you what I mean. If I drag this, you can see how it's there's two there. So let me undo this. 
to make sure it shows up here on the second screen, all we have to do is select this layer in container two, and in our position it says it's negative 331 pixels, and we can click here and we can add 375, and that's the position one artboard over. So now we can hit return, and now when we interact with this, we can see that this is sitting exactly where it needs to, and everything changes. There's another thing that we missed here. So at the very end of this screen, we don't need a skip button anymore because we've reached the end of the tutorial or the onboarding. And also this big circle needs to be over here. So we can change this here in Adobe XD and update it if we change these. For example, I could just delete this skip and I can come back in here, file, import, slide three. And here I'm going to hit remove layers that were deleted in Adobe XDCC. And so I could do that and I can slide over and that's gone now. Or in this case, I can still jump into these layers because it saved each individual layer. I know this is the control bar right here. And I'm just going to zoom out just to show you. And the control bar is over here and you can't see it because of this paging. So I'm going to move this over here just so we can see what's going on. I'm going to zoom in. And now we're going to move these. So I can go into my control here, and there's oval one uh, and these other oval layers. So I can drag this over this other circle. I can grab the other circle behind it, and holding down Shift, I'm just going to nudge this over with my arrow keys. And if I put this directly against this other one, and then hold down Shift and nudge it over once, that'll be 10 pixels. And that's where I want it. So you can still make some adjustments here within this as far as positioning. And we can test everything out here now. We have, oh, you see how it's making a mistake here because I forgot to go back to my paging and drag this back over right here. Now everything will work perfect. And that's a quick way to create an onboarding animation with Protopie using your Adobe XD design files. I highly recommend giving this a try at protopie.io. You can download this for Windows or Mac. And they have a lot of tutorials that you can follow along through for more advanced animations to show you how you can create some awesome prototypes. I hope you enjoyed today's tip, and if you did, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos.